Hello, hello, Caroline B. Day here, and I'm excited to be talking about a very important topic. But first, let's do the most important thing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Destined with Greatness podcast show. And this is a space where we have real raw conversations that encourage, empower, educate. But most importantly, my hope and prayer is that you will be established in your God-given greatness or your purpose with no apology apologies. I always like to say, uh, be unapologetic about it. So today we'll be talking a very important topic, how to break free from negative self-image. And why is this important? How you see yourself really matters. It shapes how you live out your life. And if you were called for greatness, you need to see yourself in a perspective of greatness. So tonight I want us to get real and raw about one of the things or some of the things that will show up or manifest when you have negative self-image about yourself. But I'll also be sharing how to overcome negative self-image. I'll also give examples of a person in the Bible who God had called and placed greatness inside of him, but he questioned his abilities, right? But eventually God used him greatly. So you are not alone and let's dive in. So as I said, today's topic is break free from negative self-image, overcome self-doubt and embrace your, your greatness unapologetically. But I always love to start with the simple things first. Let's define what is self what is self-image. So self-image refers to the beliefs, attitudes, and perception that a person has about themselves. In other words, it's the mental picture that you have about yourself. And this can be based on your experiences, your thoughts, or interactions with others. And also an important thing to talk about is when a person has a positive self image, they will have confidence in their abilities and their self worth. And while a person has a negative self image, this is marked by self doubt and low self esteem. So how does a lack of self image show up in a person's life? Well, this shows up in many ways and we'll, I'll give about seven examples. So when a person has a lack of self image or a negative self image, this will show up as low self esteem. And this means a person will feel that they are not good enough. In other words, they have a negative view of themselves, their abilities and their worth as a person. Number two, they will have self-doubt. A person with lack of self-image often doubts their abilities and second-guess themselves. They may hesitate to take risks or even try new things because they fear failure or rejection. Number three, they often have negative self-talk. And I always say, it's so important to pay attention or have self-awareness with the conversation you have with yourself. We can always have great conversation with other people, but the most important conversation you really need to pay attention is the one you have with yourself, right? Because people with negative self-image may engage in negative self-talk, often criticizing themselves because they do not have a great picture about themselves. But don't worry, we'll, I'll be sharing how to overcome that. And then another example of how lack of self-image shows up in a person, a person will often self-sabotage. They lack self-image and often sabotage their own success, consciously or unconsciously. They fear that success or believe that they do not deserve it. They feel that they're not worthy of success. So they often engage in self-destructive behaviors that hold them back. Number five, 
they will have great difficulty forming relationship, right? And they believe that they are unworthy of love and affection. So they often fear rejection. They often place walls around themselves. And when you're trying to have a conversation or even relate with this, uh, with a person who has lack of self image, you find as though you can't really have deep rooted conversation. It's always very surface. Number six, they are often procrastinating, right? They are often putting important tasks off because they fear failure or believe that they are not capable of completing them. So in summary, a lack of self-image can keep an individual stuck and sabotaging their purpose in several ways. It often leaves you feeling inadequate, low motivation and self-sabotaging everything that you do. They often doubt their abilities and hesitate to take risks. This leads to missed opportunities. They may also struggle to form meaningful relationships, right? And often engage in self-destructive behaviors. So I mentioned earlier, there's a person in the Bible that God used, but he almost talked himself out of his greatness because of the issues of how he saw himself. And the person in the Bible is the Moses. And this is found in, in the book of Exodus chapter three. And Moses was actually born in a foreign land. And at the time he was born in Egypt. And at the time Pharaoh had sent out a mandate for all male boys to be killed. But just to summarize the story, Moses ended up being saved by one of uh, Pharaoh's daughters. And he was raised up and groomed as a prince in Pharaoh's home. But eventually, there was an incident where Moses ended up killing an Egyptian and he, he had to flee to the desert. And while he was in the desert, the Lord had had the cries of the Israelites while they were in slavery in Egypt. And God used Moses. He called Moses and he said, he wanted Moses to go deliver the Israelites from slavery while they were held in Egypt. But when God called Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, Moses doubted his ability to fulfill the tasks. And he asked God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring out the Israelites out of Egypt? And he tried to give God every excuse. And one of the excuses he used was, I am slow of speech and tongue. Why have you brought this trouble to your servant? You know, and he was trying to talk himself out of his greatness. And a lot of times, you know you were created for more, but have you ever come to a place where you, you doubt your abilities to do great things? So I want to encourage you today, it's important to reframe how you see yourself because it's not that you cannot accomplish great things, it's because you have the wrong mental picture of yourself. But eventually Moses obeyed God and he went and delivered the Israelites out of slavery and he became a hero. His purpose and mission in life was to deliver the Israelites out of slavery. How about you? There are people that God has positioned you to bless, to empower, to encourage, to save, and even to deliver. But are you talking yourself out of that mission because you don't believe that God can use you? So I want to encourage you and let you know you have the ability to overcome that wrong self-image you have about yourself. And how do you do that? So number one, identify the negative self-talk and challenge them with the word of God. 
practice speaking positive affirmation, right? Focus on your personal strengths and talents and celebrate those things that you have achieved because a lot of times we tend to focus on those things we haven't achieved yet, right? So flip the switch or reverse engineer. Start being grateful of those things that you have accomplished. And I want you to also practice self-care and prioritizing your physical and emotional well-being. We tend to take care of other things and other people and give priority to other things. But start prioritizing yourself. Put yourself in your schedule. All right? Have faith and face and conquer those things that often scare you. And you've often heard people say, feel the fear and do it anyway. I always say, you may feel afraid, but let faith fuel you to face those fears. All right? And I always say, if you're feeling stuck and stagnant and constantly have a negative image about yourself, seek professional help. There's no shame in that. I have done that myself. And it has been beneficial because sometimes you need to reframe how you see yourself and how, because how you see yourself will affect how you show up in life. And also practice gratitude and recognize those accomplishments, no matter how small. And as I end, I wanted to remind you a very important verse in Psalms 139 verse 14. It says, I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that well. But another important uh, verse in the Bible, it talks about, it's Romans 12 verse 2. And it talks about not being conformed to the patterns of this world. Because if you do not know who you are, if you do not know your worth and your greatness, you will be easily influenced by the patterns and the standards of the world. So always have a frame of reference. And personally for me, the, my frame of reference is the word of God. Anytime I find or catch myself having, having negative thoughts, I challenge those negative thoughts and I reference the word of God. And some of the things I'll say to myself, I am fearfully and wonderfully created by God. And God did not make a mistake when he created me. And I also say that God is my shepherd. I shall not want. I will fear no evil because a lot of times when we see what's happening around the world, the first emotion we feel is fear. So I go back to the word of God and I will say, I will fear no evil for you are with me, God. And when I have questions about my future, I go back to the word of God, Jeremiah 29, 11, that says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So be encouraged, my friend. God created you for greatness. And I want you to go back and watch this podcast again. Take those examples of how to change or reframe that negative self-image you have about yourself, right? But for more information on a coaching program or our courses, I've put in our email and contact information. But you can also go to our, our website, www.holistichealthwealthpreneur. You'll find more content and also sign up for a weekly uh, blog post. And it's been such an honor and a privilege to share this. And I want you to remember, do not talk yourself out of your greatness because there are people waiting for you to rise up and step into your purpose because your obedience is connected to their destinies. All right, Caroline Beathy Day here. Have a blessed day and remember you were created for greatness.